Hey, welcome to more Metal Gear Solid right after the last Metal Gear Solid. Welcome to Cruise Control. This time we're playing 3 and I can play around with the fucking cool title screen. That's Wade, it. what are you doing? I'm starting a new game. Alright. Cause this is a new game. This is Metal Gear Solid 3. Yay! Uh, oh, okay, we're not playing first time. You so, like the first one, you like the second one, right. or you like the third one! Hey, right. right. so, so I think we're in agreement we like two better than one, right? Yep. So let's go with I like MGS2. Difficulty. Normal's good for me. You should go very easy. No, we gotta have some challenge. Yeah. We gotta have some embarrassing moments. Cause did, a... When you were a kid, did you play a lot of games on very easy? No. I was, always, I was pretty much always normal. World War II. Yeah. The world was split into two. See, yeah, this is like back in Cold War. Uh, this is not a sequel. It's a prequel. Ah, uh, yes. But we're still Snake. How can this be? <gasps> Could it be it's the character that was cloned to make the other Snake? No, nope, Snake was actually a vampire the whole time. No, oh, what a twist. What a twist. Him and Vamp are actually just old college buddies. Yep. They uh, both grew up in Transylvania. Yep. So yeah, this was, uh, this is probably the most critically popular Metal Gear game. Oh, really? Lots of people consider this the best one. Huh. It is not my personal Brian favorite. Wait, what was that? Brian Cummings. The name sounds very familiar. Oh. Yeah, I think. Yeah, a lot of voice actors appear in everything, so... Altitude 30,000 feet. Approaching Soviet airspace. Right. 20 minutes to drop off. Commencing internal depressurization. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this is a really good game. Um, it's... It's a bit different right. from the past ones. You ready to go. But the core is still there. Cab okay. Good. We've got huh. high visibility. You guys get a badass scar. Yep. Probably got everyone like, wants uh, like a sweet scar like that. Wants to get a scar. Yeah, it's like oh, it hurts. Oh man. Put that cigar. Put it. Connecting oxygen hose to interior connector. Put on your mask. Um, uh, yeah, so this is, a. Uh, it, it's kind of weird how two ends with all those cliffhangers and then three, they went back to fucking 60s or whatever. Anyways. But, uh, you know, it is still important to the overall story, like you will see as we go along here. Um, many of the cliffhangers won't be resolved until four, but this will add just new things onto the pile. Fair enough. Fuck your cigar. I'm gonna discard it like a cool guy. I don't care about safety. I'm a badass. Oh, that mask looks familiar. Depressurization complete. Oh, yeah, this is, this is like back when smoking was like still cool and like no one was like, oh, it's dangerous. Yeah. So I'm a real cool guy right now. Yeah. Damn, bro. Oh, hey, really is still here. Nice. <laughs> Like, in universe, they're probably like, oh, oh no! no! Our battery is getting low. Um, I can... External temperature yeah. minus 46 degrees. Oh, you have that other controller, right? Yeah. I can just grab that. Stand up. All right, time for some sweet engine moves. This is time. Oh, we're going back. Try not to get frostbite from the wind chill. Try not to get frostbite from the wind chill. Move to the rear. Hello. Hello. This oh, is one of the history books. World's first Halo jump. <laughs> Ten to Hopefully your Stay other uh, controller is charged. Status okay. All okay. Yeah. Alright, we gotta take a moment here to uh, stop controllers over it. Did it. Spread your wings and fly. God be with you. Alright. Oh, I gotta hold the button. Alright. Uh, uh settings. There we go. Awesome. Sweet. Right. Okay, this one's got battery charge. All right, sorry about that. Great, off to a great start here. Uh, we jumped out of a plane. Sweet. Good work. Jack, I've got some important news. The head of the CIA has finally given us the green light for the virtuous mission. Virtual mission? No, virtuous mission. <laughs> Did you say nerd? Unit depends on it. Huh. If it succeeds, we'll be officially organized into a unit. 
virtuous mission. <laughs> that sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. You know, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. Right. <laughs> so what exactly is this wonderful mission? Well, <laughs> about two years ago, a certain Soviet scientist requested asylum in the West through one of our moles. His name is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. That's a very Russian name. He's head of yes. the OKB754 Design Bureau. <laughs> it's Dr. So Destructor! Or what, what the fuck his name is? And the East yeah, Joe! On weapons development. Yeah. So, I uh, Dementor? Is he that famous rocket scientist? Dr. Dementor same. or something? I don't know. On April I think it's just Dementor. I'm not very, no I'm not very familiar with G.I. Joe stuff. <laughs> Fair enough. No, wait, it's Dr. Mindbender. Oh, that sounds right. No God. Yeah. Well what? Spoken. The rocket that carried Yuri Gagarin to orbit was the A-1, known as the Vostok rocket. Oh, yeah. Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi-engine cluster used in that rocket. And remember when people cared about space After travel? Yeah. Yep. Sokolov what happened to that? <laughs> Become the head it of the became irrelevant. Established design bureau. From a lowly technician to head of a design bureau, yeah. that's quite a success story. So why do you want to defect? It seems he'd become afraid of his own creations. Afraid? Um. One of a crisis of conscience. <clears throat> and for that, he left his country and his family. What could he have made? <laughs> Not exactly. One of his conditions was that his family was also to be taken safely to the West. Used a mole to get the family I love when they use stock footage. <laughs> yeah. It's just so like out of place in a funny way. Yeah. I was the one who conducted the operation. The security on the eastern so what system was this? PS2. PS2? Okay. Yeah. Um, PS3 was 4, and 5 will be on the uh, new system. And we checked him into a hospital in West Berlin. It took him two weeks and more than 600 miles mm -hmm. to get from the research facility. Same graphics engine as two, I believe. Okay. No condition to say anything coherent. And it was only a week later that we had something much. Look how realistic these graphics are, man. The oh, that's pretty realistic. Crisis. Graphics. Oh yeah, 16th, that thing. 1962. President Kennedy received. He was all like, "Hey, we're gonna be dicks," and then Kennedy was all like, "Hey, don't be dicks." And then, like the X Men were involved. Yeah, yeah, Magneto stopped the missiles. Yeah. Um, Same time, he announced a name. Then he accidentally deflected a bullet into Charles Xavier's spine. But the Soviets didn't and uh, Banshee died. Forces on secondary alert. Soviet transport. Came between movies. Continued on course yep. towards Cuba. Yeah. U.S. and Soviet forces went on alert. <laughs> Poor Banshee. Poor Banshee. And half the cast of that movie. Yeah. I think out of most of those mutants, I like Banshee the most. Uh, like, I would have liked more Havoc. Yeah, he was briefly in Days of Future Past. Yeah. Uh, and so the world avoided a nuclear holocaust. But in order to get the Soviets to... I am a... Uh... We had to make a deal. <laughs> the one where the U.S. agreed to... Say it! I should just use hey, Clone Highs. Shut up! Clone oh, Highs, yeah. yeah, Clone Highs, JFK, you could totally just keep Game Boy. I miss Clone High. That was such a great show. Deserved to have more than one season. Yeah. The turkey deal when they kind of hit the reset button on the end of the season. Like, I, I think... So what did the Russians really want? Sokolov. Yeah. They wanted us to return Sokolov. You mean... The Soviets pulled out of Cuba just to get their hands on Sokolov? That's right. What the hell was he working on? Team State device. At the time, we had no idea. Yeah, it's probably like, you know, like we a new microwave technology or something. Mm. Yeah, something would be really nice for consumers. Sokolov or risk full -scale nuclear war. I wonder if it was like and something no made with metal that had President gears. Kennedy gave nah. That'd be repetitive. They wouldn't. The day, uh, so they wouldn't have like two games in a row have like a similar formula. That would make no sense. Yeah, like that'd be just bad design. Like lazy. Uh, just how, like, just how like in the Metroid games, even though they're all called Metroid, there are Metroids in every game. I know. What kind of bullshit is that? About <laughs> Sokolov. Zelda's not even in every Legend of Zelda game. Yeah. The research facility and forced to continue working on the weapon in question. Stupid Russians being dicks. Yeah. What's more, it's on the verge of completion. So, what kind of weapon is it? Something to do with space rockets? No. Missile. And imagine if you just had to fight a space rocket. Like, like it's yeah. just like a space rocket on legs. That's the new Metal Gear. That'd be awesome. Yeah. It was like, hey kids, let's go to space! Or something. 
something with our team. We're talking about a secret weapon so big that Khrushchev was ready to pull out of Cuba to get it back. Is Sokolov still in a facility? No. According to our intelligence, he's in Selino Yask, a place in the mountains about three miles to the west that's known as the Virgin Cliffs. Ooh. The Virgin Cliffs. We'll probably have a lot of magic to get into nice them, there. For a virtuous <laughs> they moved in there just recently. I kind of ripped that joke, I think. Apparently. They're conducting a field test of the weapon. What was that? It's our best chance it might have been Robot back. Chicken. This mission was like they promised, possible, like some, the either facility. like riffing on like suicide bombers. It was like, chance. yes, so like if you like blow yourself up, you'll confidence. get to heaven and you'll get forty nine virgins. And it just like cuts to like this dead suicide bomber in heaven, and there's just like always like fat, like nerdy looking dudes, and like, hey, wanna play Magic the Gathering? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I've seen that. Yeah, I was like. Oh, it's hurtful because it's true. I believe I can fly. Sweet. So right when you get near the ground, turn into a bear, then uh, select a target and charge onto it. Warcraft. Yeah, so there's like lots of those scenes we can hit our way and look through his eyes. Uh, kind of useless here, but... To the west. <laughs> yeah. Please. Trying to get if we don't get Sogolov back before that weapon is complete, we'll be facing a major crisis. Ooh. The clock is ticking. Hey. <laughs> Spoilers! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Once we've confirmed the rescue of Sokolov, stand by at the recovery point. A recovery balloon will be dropped at that point. Helium will be pumped into the balloon to inflate it. I will never go skydiving. About 20 minutes. I'm no. terrified of heights. Once it's complete, the gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. I'm the glad he's to fly in the recovery but, system. Yeah. I'm familiar with the theory. Take it easy. It's been combat proof. Do you think Sokolov is up to it? The shock will be less than during a parachute jump. So it's jump part of the, the, the point of this game to establish, panel. like, Big boss so you're planning like on going ass. over the border in a single yeah, It's kind of like, yeah, they just established his character and, like, why He's he became what he did. Barrel, 20 mm -hmm. I'm looking into the past, how things... Kind of set up things for... For Sounds how things like went in the present. Battalion of tanks. You Even better understand the reserve thing. Tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours. Home in time for dinner. But if anything goes wrong... You'll be You're fucked. Dinner, breakfast, and all the rest of your meals in the jungle. And he just gets impaled on a tree, and that's it. That's the end of the game. What a sweet game. It's a... Uh, yeah. It's a brief experience, but... Mm -hmm. I think it really communicates... the futility of skydiving. Yeah. yeah. You should just not... Oh, ow. Snake, there he goes your bag. My stuff. Dramatic. I believe that's a very similar pose to the pose he lands in at the start of the last game. Yeah. <laughs> References. You gotta love them. Dramatic. <laughs> Shit. I think it looks like a Ooh, he's got such pretty hair. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? I noticed that before. I was like, they call him Jack. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> what is going on? I guess I have a real camera control now. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, for BS2. Uh, fuck, this is nice. Oh yeah, this is a gorgeous game. All right, I need to get my stuff. I think. So he's voiced by David Hayter, hey? Oh yeah. Although they haven't called him Snake. It's just Jack. 
Hey, look, there's still a radio. Except it's an actual radio, I believe, this time. Yeah. You're already in enemy yeah. territory, and somebody might be listening in. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Mage 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 Snake. I'll be referring Mage to you Snake. as Snake <laughs> from now on. You're not to mention your real name. Snake? What, you don't like snakes? What do you mean? You've eaten one before, haven't you? In survival training. <laughs> what does that have to do with I'm anything? Hear that. I don't know if I'd ever order so one in a restaurant. Be careful, you might not have Hell yeah, that's right. What about you, Major? What should I call you? Hmm, let's see. I'll be... I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. <laughs> Can't control the Major Tom. Oh, and Snake. Yeah. yeah. The crew isn't watching anymore. You can take off the disguise now. Good idea. This is right. <laughs> so that's what that question was for at the beginning. This is what happens when you pick. I like MGS too. <laughs> oh, it's just a little troll move. <laughs> okay, good. I was going to start fighting out. <laughs> well done. Well, so. Okay, so what if you pick MGS3? I'm not sure, actually. You should have picked that. Um. Okay, I was about to like start going on like rampant conspiracy theories. <laughs> so that's good. Um. <laughs> still, I kind of would have liked it if it was actually like Jack. Jack. Yeah. Literally the same person. It's like I'm a time traveler. <laughs> or not the same person, but just yeah. It turns out Raiden was a clone too. Can you hear me, Major Tom? This is sneaky. ground control to Major Kept Tom. Waiting, huh? Kept this waiting, huh? That's in like every game. <laughs> you must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox Unit's speciality. In other words, weapons and equipment mm. are procure on site. That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. What about that bag of Great. shit that got stuck in the tree? Now I see why you asked me if I like snakes. I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. I get to actually no, eat snakes in this game. No, good reason for that. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you later it's when you snake eating. Gotcha. Getting back to the subject, how exactly am I supposed to feed myself? You've been issued a knife and a tranquilizer gun. Use them to hunt for food. You'll also find some medical supplies in your backpack. Yeah, about the backpack. I lost it in a tree on the way down. I see. Well, <laughs> you better go back and get it then. Whee! You know where it is? No problem. I can see it from here. It's stuck on a branch. To climb a tree, stand in front action of the tree that's covered yeah. in ivy and press the action button. I'll be monitoring your progress over the radio. Major! We can't Please risk don't have buttons. <laughs> you dumb fuck. <laughs> How'd you get in charge? One four zero point eight five. I'll give you a call if I need a to call. talk. To you. If you need to talk to me, use the send. Send. Button. Okay, Snake. Go get your backpack. Time for school. Hmm. Time for school. Okay. Uh, right. What's the percentage? Oh, oh you're it out, is. Out of uh, it is camouflage, yes. Okay. Neat. Um, I'm that's... assuming you can get different costumes. Oh, yeah. Actually, that's you can wear the riding mask. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Uh, I think that's it there. Here we go. Yep. Oh, there you go. I got it. I beat the game. Game over. Good work. I see you've retrieved your backpack, Snake. To equip How do you a see? weapon, it's necessary to take it out of your backpack. Yes, yeah, so you actually have a proper inventory in system in this game. Viewer, ah. choose weapon from the backpack. Your available weapons will be displayed. You can only carry so many, have so many things out at the same time. That right. rest, choose and the more, and you actually have stamina to now, so the more stuff you have out, it's more quick. Your stamina and other items, oh. items, just do the same and thing. You have to refill by eating food. Yeah. There's this whole it's survival bullshit. Yep, that's right. Survival is fundamental to this mission. After you've been like out in the field for a while, your stamina will start to drop. <laughs> no, it's, not, it's not bad in this game. Like, it's, it's low, pretty... They give you your performance. a pretty wide burst. You won't like, be able to shoot accurately, yeah. for example. I just... I don't know. I don't... Smoothly. Keep an understand eye on your it. Stamina Sometimes, so like, say, like... 
to recover like Diablo 2. Like, why can't you just run around all the time? <laughs> you can use like, flavor-wise, I get it. To hunt. Mechanically. My only weapon is a Mark 22 Hush Puppy Tranquilizer. Mm -hmm. Hush puppy. Oh, this is more like lowering right. your stamina. It's like, it mostly suppressor. affects like your health regenerates However, and like will deteriorate how much your, you fight. your aim, like first person aim will kind of wave around. The noise suppression uh, like like it's kind of a smaller, more subtle so effect. Get two, Trigger, um, happy with it. Yeah. The suppressor's durability is shown in the icon. And oh yeah, and uh, silencers have, like, they wear out now, too. Have to mm. find as you go. Makes sense. I have to find my own weapons and equipment? Whose crazy idea was this, anyway? <laughs> yeah, who would make a Solo mission like that? Solo covert actions are standard Fox operating procedure. You can't That's... leave any traces of your presence. No weapons, equipment, footprints, sweat, or bodily waste. The same Dude. goes for bullets and cartridges, too. But what if I have to go to the bathroom? Is already a violation of international conventions of warfare. You gotta poop there sometime. to be any American soldiers in Russia. It could spark an international incident. You can't let anyone see you. You can't let the enemy know you're there. This is a stealth mission. You're I'm a sneaking ghost up on it. In every do, sense of the word. Do, do, There'll do, be no do, rescue do, if you're captured. Do, do, do. The US government will I'm growing. Any involvement in the affair. Did it? Just have to yeah, take yeah, care yeah, of myself, man. huh? I'm afraid I hope so. that good. You've been given a fake death oh, yeah, I have a fake death kill. It's kind of neat. SIS guidelines stipulate that soldiers on covert ops like this one be issued a potassium cyanide capsule. Tape it to your body so you can take it when you need to. How generous of you. Use it if you're taken prisoner by the enemy. It'll send you into a state of false death for a short time. Fooling them into thinking that I'm really dead. So how do I come back to life? Just take the revival pill. You mean that mm -hmm. thing they put in my tooth before the mission? That's the one. But be careful. If you remain in a state of false death for too long, nothing will be able to bring you back. Remember mm -hmm. that. I'll keep All it in right. mind. You said this was a solo mission, right? Right. I guess that means I can't count on any reinforcements. Correct. The mission rests entirely in your hands. A real one man army. Always alone. Relax. Mm. Until I meet team ready to back you up over the radio. And my support Ooh. team, of course. I'll introduce them to you. This time, survival is of utmost importance. I think you said that the first member of the support team will be in charge <laughs> of monitoring your physical condition, acting as a medic, so to speak, as well as recording your mission data. She's a member of Fox as well, and she's here on the gunship with me. She. Hello, Snake. Mm. I'm Paramedic. Nice to meet you. What? Paramedic. <laughs> As That's an medic who comes in by parachute. Aren't you going to tell me your real name? Are you going to tell me yours, Mr. Snake? My name, huh? It's John Doe. And they call you Jack mm. for short. You're a regular Captain Nemo. A name means what? nothing on the battlefield. <laughs> After a week, no one has a name. What's uh, your name? Jane Doe. Very funny. I wasn't joking, hey, you like it. but I'll tell you my name only if you manage to make it back alive. They're married. My frequency is 145.73. She's also in charge of recording your mission data. Whenever you want to save, send a and message. And don't worry, she won't ask me about our relationship. 140.96. <laughs> so saving lets me record my mission data. That's right. It also records the state of your health. Good to know. There's one more person I want to introduce you to, Snake. Huh. Speaking of snakes, you remember the boss, don't you? The boss? A legendary soldier and your mentor. Whoa. Actually, it was the boss that got the DCI's authorization in the first place. This is about Magic the Gathering. He's going to be serving <laughs> as Fox's mission advisor. The boss is? She also helped me plan this mission. She and I were at SAS together. Mm, Jack, is that you? How many years has it been? This is the voice of fucking boss. Diane from Family That's Guy. Right. It's me. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That Great. really was Talk tripping me out when I first played this game. Voice. It's been five years, 72 days, and 18 hours. You've lost weight. You can tell just by the sound of my voice. Of course I can. I know all about you. Really? Well, I don't know anything about you. What's that supposed to mean? Why'd you disappear on me all of a sudden? I was on a top secret mission. You didn't need me anymore. But there were still so many just things like I Colonel. wanted you to teach me. <laughs> no, I taught you everything you needed to know about fighting techniques. I taught you all I could. The rest you needed to learn on your own. Techniques, sure. But what about how to think like a soldier? 
Here, how kill that guy. Like a soldier? That's how you think. I can't teach you that. Just kill everything. A soldier needs to be strong in spirit, body, and technique. And the only thing you can learn from someone else is technique. In fact, technique doesn't even matter. What's most important is spirit. Spirit and body are like two sides of a single coin. Mm. They're the same thing. I can't teach you how to think. You'll just have to figure it out for yourself. Listen to me, Jack. Just because soldiers are on the same side right now doesn't mean they always will be. Having personal feelings about your comrades is one of the worst sins you can commit. Politics yeah, fuck those people. you face on the battlefield. And politics are a living thing. They change along with the times. Yesterday's good might be tomorrow's evil. Is that why you abandoned me? No, it had nothing to do with you. I already told you, Jack. I was on a top secret mission. A soldier has to follow whatever orders he's given. It's not his place to question why. But you're looking for a reason to fight. You're a natural born fighter, but you're not quite a soldier. A soldier is a political tool, nothing more. That's Ain't that the truth. truth. A career soldier. <laughs> right and wrong have no place in his mission. He has no enemies and no friends. Only the mission. You follow the orders you're given. That's what being a soldier is. I do whatever I have to to get the job done. I don't think about politics. That's not the same thing. Sooner or later, your conscience is going to bother you. In the end, you have to choose whether you're going to live as a soldier or just another man with a gun. I live as another man with a... Loyalty to the end. Hmm? Do you know what it means? I don't know. Being patriotic. It means devoting yourself to your country. I follow the president and the top brass. I'm ready to die for them if necessary. The I... president and the top brass won't be there forever. Once their terms are up, others will take their place. Yep. yep. I follow the will of the leader, no matter who's in charge. People aren't the ones Yikes. who dictate the missions. That's not a good idea. Then who does? The times. <laughs> People's values change up. over time. <laughs> and so do the leaders of a country. So there's no such thing as an enemy in absolute terms. The enemies we fight are only enemies in relative terms, constantly changing with the times. As long as we have <laughs> a to the end, there's no point in believing in anything, even in those we love. And that's the way a soldier's supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. All right, but do me a favor. What is it? Call me Snake. Snake? Oh, right. Your code name is Snake. It suits you well. That's right. That's the supposed to mean. unit that the boss put together during World War II was a snake. The Cobra unit. A group of heroes that Cobra! fought the world and saved the world. <laughs> it really is G.I. Joe. Legendary mm -hmm. hero backing you up, you'll be fine. Isn't that right, Snake? Yeah. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have with me. Oh, and one more thing, boss. Yes? It's good to hear your voice again. Same here. After all, who knows if either of us will make it Now here's life. Tom Tucker. With... <laughs> you are always best at urban warfare and infiltrating buildings. But this is the jungle. Survival is going to be jungle key. Snake. Those CQC die! techniques I taught you are sure to come in handy. CQC. Close quarters combat, huh? Hey, so I have a bit more melee options in this game. Few years. I'm probably pretty rusty. Not too Sorry. Much. Hmm? I'll be here what? to help you remember. I didn't hear what you said. After okay, all, good. this is your first actual <laughs> survival mission. I'll be supporting you over the radio. Where are you, boss? Next to the major? The boss is communicating with us by radio from aboard a permit-class submarine in the Arctic Ocean. My frequency is 141. No, I want to see submarine more. Call me if you need my Yay. advice on battle That's tactics. another frequency we gotcha. hear a lot. Your mission yeah. is to retrieve the other ones are a bit Dr. Sokolov. That's weird. Dr. Sokolov is being held in an abandoned factory located to the north of your current position. Avoid heavy I forgot how long it took for this game to get going at the start. <laughs> Don't forget, I this wasn't is a stealth else. mission. Yeah, I guess the second game also opened up with a lot of setup. Yeah. So this game isn't actually as cutscene crazy as the other two. Like, there's heavy parts where there's lots of cutscenes, mm -hmm. but there's a lot more gameplay in this one. But this opening is pretty slow. Yeah. Commencing virtuous mission now. Okay. 
I get to start with the silence trank gun, so yay. Alright. Let's get on with the show here. Yeah, okay, let me look in my backpack. That's a good place to start. Mm -hmm. Alright, so yeah, I got my knife, my direction mic, and my sting. And I don't need to have the cigar. Oh wait, I have to choose these to be equipped. So let's get the fake death pill out. Or... Oh, okay, I don't think I need to equip the revival pill. Binoculars and these. Let's get all my gadgets. Or... Calorie meat. Uh, you know what, I think I was actually unequipping stuff. Derp. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's move forward. Dermuchi Swampalan. Let's go rescue Russian dude. Sokolov. Okay, yeah, do you have I am stuff. just gonna call it right now, Sokolov doesn't make it out alive. You don't think so, huh? Nope. Why that? Because it's fitting with the previous <laughs> two games. <laughs> So one thing you might notice, no radar. Yep. And I will never not. get a real radar. I do get um certain sensors. I got this sonar. Yep. I can hit L3 to like send out sonar waves, but it also detects animals. Um, ah. And also you can see there on the bottom left I have a battery meter. Mm-hmm. And I believe everything shares the same battery, yeah. Yeah. I have this motion detector, which is useful. Alright. It says there's things there, but I think there's animals, so they appear to be safe. Oh, those are alligators! Oh shit! Oh god! Oh, All right. Baby water. Um. He's just sitting there. Yeah, but maybe I want to like eat him. Oh, all right. Bug juice. Oh, but I think I need to actually kill him to eat him. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's the sweet technique you've got there. Yeah. Stab. I'm surprised he's not waking up. Oh, is this the one where you can have the crab battle? Crab battle. I think they made a video of it where, like, snakes, like, stuck on a log with a crab. Oh. <laughs> and he's like, Oh, God! He's like, Major, this crab, it has impenetrable claws. Oh, no. It's gonna get me. Something like that. I don't know. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why did he do this? I didn't know it was there. I did not see it. I don't even recall this, this like, area. Nasty. Okay. What's the... It's the, uh... Now that your legs are all covered in poop water. <laughs> Alright. But, uh... So this game's very much more open. Um, yeah. There's a lot of ways to go about well, approaching situations. And I think I can capture this snake. Yes, that's it. So I've got a live snake in the cage. cage right now. I can actually throw it at people here if I want Yay! to. Yay! <laughs> snake to the face! Okay. Oh. Huh? Can I keep it? It's a bit. I assume I'm going the right way. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm getting a cutscene, so I'm going the right way. Yep. Now I have a snake. Yeah. Snake has a snake. Snake has a snake. It's wrapped around a snake. Brown snake turned into brown stick. So when this game first came out, you actually did not have the controllable camera. Oh. Um, it still had, like, actual camera angles, like the first two games. Um, then they put out a re-release later that added the third-person mm. camera, and it's so much better. Uh, like, the way this game is designed, how everything is open, uh, it really needed better camera control. Right. Because um, in the original game, you just get seen by guys out, out of screen, and you have no idea why. Can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This can't remember if that means mission. I fail if I get seen here. Got that? So mm -hmm. I guess we'll find out. Right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting camouflage. From oh, okay, that's view. where it is. The uniform mm. option lets you pick your uniform. Face. Now the face option lets you change your face paint. 
You can get some pretty dumb face paints. Like, you can get, like, fucking American flag face paints. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you can be like Nuke. Also, don't you know? Yeah, Nuke. That moves Nuke. Will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. <laughs> what? But if you crawl what? Spot, I never do that. You should be able to sneak by without being noticed. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. Yay, tutorials. The camo index mm. shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The cool thing is you can never the get 100%. Value, the oh, yeah. Spot I think that 95 expressive. is the highest you can go, so yeah. there's always a chance to get spotted. The key is to make yourself that makes sense. one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? Sure. Like, you can't ever be fully camouflaged. Yeah. Unless you're, like, hiding inside the tree or something. Okay, so. Let's go out here. Okay, so right now, just lying down at 60 here. Let's see if I can make that bet. Well, this will make it a bit better. Squares. I do have my riding mask. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Woodline's best for this. Excellent. And this all shows up in cutscenes too, which is actually kind of cool. Yeah. Gives you a little bit of visual customization, which is appreciated. Motion detector on here. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Apparently there's a dude somewhere around here. Oh, right like there. That guy right there. Let me see. Alright, I got him, I think. Pretty sure I tagged him. There's something in that log. You're right. Oh, oh jeez. Thanks for, like, getting rid of leeches and stuff. Uh. I should hide this body. You should. Remember this animation. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, quick, have your way with him. No, I'm a good person. Oh, okay. Uh, just want to make sure I'm going the right way here. I have a map. All right. Oh, yeah, so I can go either way. All but right. I'm here, so I'll go this way. Okay. Choices. Oh. You're a negative camouflage percent. Hey, there's a tree you can climb. Hey, when was that? Oh, because, yeah, I'm in this area. Yeah. Instead of something open. green. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Oh yeah, and you, if you use like the D-pad to move, you do like a stalking thing. Mm. You actually need to do that if you want to sneak up behind someone. Okay, and one over there. Hmm, I wonder if I can go up there. Doesn't look like it. What? Oh, there's a guy like right in this grass right there. Oh boy. Alright. Oh crap. <laughs> oh, and then that guy was right there. Alright, gotta get you. That's right, I that. I've got like an instantly KO now. Uh. Mama said, oh, Mama said not too well. Oh, incoming. Nothing to see here. Or everything to see here. That's actually really useful. Oh god! Oh! One pain on his grenade. Man, someone's still here. Oh. Yeah. The other thing about this game is you can't actually, like, take care of everyone in an area. Oh. Like, they won't infinitely come in most places. Oh, okay. Ah, yeah, I did it. But I took a lot of hits. Well, it was sloppy. But I did it! I'm the best. I'm the best. Mm -hmm. It's over this way. I was running around like an idiot, just like they said I wasn't supposed to. Yep. Remember, wait, this is a stealth mission. But I don't want to not get 
Just me. Third oh, hey, cool. Thermal goggles. That will be incredibly useful. Awesome. Oop. Keep forgetting I have to press X twice to do that. Oh. And, like, it transitions from, like, kneeling to crawl. And vice versa. Gotcha. Okay. Well. I think I'm done in this place. There was a tree you could have climbed. I don't know if there's anything in it, but... There is often little secret stuff. Well, like I found thermal goggles in the log. So probably could be exploring more here. Maybe I should be. Yeah. I can see. Hello. Hello. Please. <laughs> that was pretty great. Grin. <laughs> oh, Snake. Yeah, uh, this Snake's a little goofier than old Snake. Or, oh, yeah. or younger Snake, or... You know. <laughs> Modern Snake. Gee, I wonder if the game was suggesting we do something. Nah. Way off. I think. Oh, I got it. Oh, oh okay. And he's like, oh no, the bees, not the bees. And I'm like, thanks, sucker. Wait, I a rat's nest. Uh, and everyone runs. Dang yeah, bees! I think that's the easy way to get through this area. <laughs> yeah. Um, we will come back, though. There's a thing around this way. One of these things I do remember. Whoa. Sneak, sneak, sneak! Oh, it's just been Oh, wait, here we go. Oh. I got a new weapon. Ooh, a rifle. Nice. Heh. <laughs> Let's, let's see if I can nest. throw the hornet's nest at someone. Nice. Back over here. It's yeah, so right off the bat, definitely a uh, difference than the other games in level yeah. design. Yeah. Focus on survival type stuff makes things a lot different. I'm like pretty that. sure those guys are gonna come back. I think. Well, maybe not. You got a bit of time. Maybe I'm okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I was okay. All That's right. Bit. Oh, Russian alphabet. You're weird. It is weird. Weird. <laughs> Playing this with headphones is getting neat. Hearing all the little background noises. Yeah. It's the way to do it. I like that face paint. Major, yeah. I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. <laughs> dump. Like a poop. I can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. I wonder why they have flashing red lights on them. So, you know, they're video game enemies. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Do you have it? Be northeast careful. section. Your mission <laughs> is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. Do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, Ugh. and one more thing, Snake. Don't fuck it up, Snake. There's more. No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. Alright, well. Yes. I think we'll have to go rescue him next time on Cruise Control. Whoa! So, see you next time.
saving again. So game. first off, let's get our first save in. Yeah, let's do it. Saving. We have to get save. So we're saving. And find out what our save file gimmick is this time. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. We had Ancient Proverbs, and then yeah, we had Godzilla Relationship King Drama. Oh, I'm talking about movies. What is it? Yep, now we have it's talking about movies. You haven't seen Sweet. it? Nope. It's about this monster called Godzilla who grows to an enormous size in a nuclear test and goes on a rampage in Tokyo. Nuclear test, huh? Then the Marshall Islands must be crawling with giant monsters right about now. <laughs> it's just make-believe. Maybe that's why my pants have been so tight lately. <laughs> Snake, it's a movie, what? not a report. He's joking about the radio. She makes news. So then what happened? Godzilla is immune to all weapons, and humanity oh. has no way to stop the monster. Doctor Sirizawa develops a new type of weapon, but meanwhile, Godzilla is getting closer and closer to Tokyo, obliterating everything in its path. It was originally a Japanese movie, but they made an American version too. And it I sucked. recommend seeing the original <laughs> Japanese one if you ever get the chance. I think it's she, mostly was she talking fun, but it's about like the like the one in the nineties? I don't think so. Original. I think there was like an American Japan? version of the original. Oh, oh, maybe she's talking about like the yeah, the the dub. Years, you might be yeah. Able to see it in America. Uh, <laughs> there it is. Two thousand and four will be Godzilla's fiftieth birthday. You think they're still going to be making Godzilla movies then? <laughs> of course, everybody loves Godzilla. You sure know a lot about movies. I don't suppose you're the movie watching type, are you? Not really. Okay, then I'll tell you everything I know. When the going gets tough, movies can save your life. They can. It's always good to be yep. able to look at things from a different perspective when you get in a jam. I thought she was actually going to talk movies. about like no kidding. The metaphor of well, the... I guess it might be <laughs> a nice distraction. Like nuclear. That's the spirit snake. Shit. Have a little fun. Yeah, have a little fun. Yeah, we'll have fun. more fun next time. See you next time. I lost it. I was... Bye. <laughs>